Hey guys, today I want to show you how to use the fading texture library with which you can easily create fading texture animations like this. I will put a link to the code of this example into the description box and there you will also find a link to the library on GitHub. Ok, let's start. First of course we have to add a dependency for this library, so we go into this build.gradle file with module colon app in its name. And here we add this dependency. You can copy paste this dependency from the GitHub page with the most recent version number. When it's done we click sync now. And then we are ready to go. Next we need a string array where we put all the strings that we want to display in this fading texture. So we go into our app folder here, res, values, and here we create a new value resource file. And we call it arrays. Click OK. And between these resources text we put the text we want to display. We create a string array with opening angle bracket string array, we have to give it a name and we will call it example1. Closing angle bracket and in here we put the single strings in form of items. Opening angle bracket item, closing angle bracket and we automatically get this closing tag here. And in here we put the text without quotation marks. Write this. Next one is, and the last one, example1. Ok, that's it for the string array of this example, now we switch over to the main activity xml file. I'm going to delete this text view here and change the constraint layout into a relative layout. And in here we write opening angle bracket and search for this fading text view. We give it wrap content width and height and now we set the text array with this attribute here, app column text. And here we pass add array slash example underscore one was the name of this array we created. Attention, we don't write arrays here, we write array, even though the name of this file is arrays. Because this is not the file name but the resource type, and the resource type is array. We set the time we want each text to appear with app colon timeout, and then we pass the duration in milliseconds. In this case, I choose one second. I'm going to increase the text size to let's say 30 sp here and I also give it the attribute center and parent and set this to true so it's center in the parent layout. And we will also give this fading text view an ID because then in Java code we will also change the array to a second example. And what colon ID at plus ID slash I'm going to call this fading underscore text underscore view but you can give it any name you want. And below this I'm also going to put a button, because as mentioned I will then at runtime change the array to another one. Grab content width and height, set the text to a example tour. I put this button down here and I give it an onclick attribute with android colon onclick and the method we want to call is start example tour. Ok, let's switch over to our main activity java file. At the top here we create a variable for our fading text view with private fading text view and we call it fading text view. Then we assign it in our onCreate method. Fading text view equals find view by id r.id.fading underscore text underscore view was the id we gave it. Semicolon. And if we want this fading text view just to display the array we set in the arrays xml file, then we don't even need this variable here because we set everything up in xml. The reason I get this reference to this fading text view in the first place is because I want to show you how you can change to another string array at runtime. In this case when we click our button. So I create this button click method, public void, we called it start example tour and we have to pass a view view. This is the method we set as the onclick attribute for the button in our xml file. And this is the reason we have to pass this view view, otherwise it will crash. And now we dynamically create another string array. We call it example tour equals pair of curly braces and in here we pass the single strings. Going to write end comma is comma is comma example tour. Now we can take our fading text view and change the text array with set texts. And here we can either pass an array, which we will do in this example with example tour, or we can pass a resource file. And then we could pass an array resource as we did in our XML file. Let's also change the timeout fading text view dot set timeout. And here we first have to pass the timeout as a number, and then we have to pass the time unit. We will set it in milliseconds with 300, comma, and then we pass this one time unit dot milliseconds. 
Now let's test it. Here we see our fading text. This is example one. Now we can switch to example two. This is example two. But if you paid attention, then you saw that our first word of example two had this one second timeout. So there was a bit of a delay. And in order to change this, we can go back in our code. And after changing the timeout, we can simply call fading text viewer dot force refresh. And now when we try it again, we won't have this delay anymore. This is example one. And this is example two. And this time we didn't have this delay. If this was helpful, please leave a like. And if you want more into tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.